Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, guys, I have got my tractor slash two wheel drive out, AKA the cheapest tractor slash project. Now I'm gonna apologize in advance because I'm right next to a park and there's kids over there making a lot of noise. Also, there's a slight breeze today. So hopefully you guys will still be able to hear me all right. Um, but uh, yeah, I have got the cheapest tractor slash project out. It is of course running those Proline Blockade tires. They are the, I believe the M3 compound. So they're a the super sticky compound. As you guys can see from those tread blocks, there's just a bunch of little tiny tread blocks. I also brought my Losi SCTE race truck with me, which has a very similar tread design. And these grip up amazingly well. And in the last video, when I first ran this, this thing hooked up way better than it has ever hooked up on this track. Um, especially since the track's been basically the same conditions every single time I've come out here over the last month or two There's been hardly any rain where I live. So the track's just been dry. It's just been dry every time I come out here. So um, But uh, so I'm gonna be running the track to slash two-wheel drive Testing out these tires a little bit more and then also if I have time before it gets dark I might run my Losi SCTE as well, but uh, this video is gonna be revolving more around the track to uh, slash so uh, I'm gonna be running a 3S pack, so let me go ahead, get her hooked up, and we're gonna jump right in this video. This should be a heck of a lot of fun. All right, guys, and here we go. We are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> See what I mean when I said it's dusty out? It performs so much better now. night and day difference it really can grip up quite a bit better and now I'm off the track back on into the berm putting down some decent laps not super fast but more steady Got a little squirrely. You really have to hit that whoop section in a rhythm. If you don't hit that section in a rhythm, uh, it can really disrupt the suspension. Got a little squirrely there. You have to feather the throttle a little bit at times. Into that berm. Can't quite double that one right there. Getting a little squirrely again. Sweet. You should probably try doing the track in a different direction, but I've gotten so used to doing it the way that I've done it that that'll totally mess me up. Like, so I could completely skip this section right here in the middle and just go right around here and then right into this one. Um, I might do that. That'll make for a faster lap. Won't be quite as tight as and uh, won't be quite as tight or as technical. So right around here. Not used to that. Into that berm. Back down that far side. Ooh, almost went 
almost turned at the wrong spot. <laughs> like I said, muscle memory. I'm so used to turning, uh, coming off of that, uh, that whoop section. two-wheel drive, getting kind of stuck. Guys, if you're liking this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well. I really enjoy making these videos here at the track, but um, you know, I'm, I'm also doing it for your guys' entertainment. So if you are enjoying this type of content at the track, make sure to give this a thumbs up. I'm much more likely to keep on coming here and making videos like this if uh, this is the videos you guys are liking. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Bring her down the far side into that whoop section. flip but we were on all four into that whoop section again Ooh. I try to put down some quicker laps here guys so here we go Ooh, I was actually able to double that I didn't land where I should have but I actually doubled that with the two-wheel drive slash. No. Ooh, losing control. Oh. Oh no. The tire came undone. The wheel and the wheel hex claw and everything came off. Crap. Okay, well at least I found the wheel nut right here. And here's the wheel. And here's the wheel hex claw. So we might have lost the pin though. The pin. Nope, the pin's actually still on there. So I just need to tighten this back down. I should probably make sure all of them are tight right now because uh, I haven't checked them recently. But uh, the wheel hex is still in okay shape. Like I said, it's not really gonna spin. It would have to spin those spokes. So let me get it put back on and we'll keep on going. I've got the wheel hex claw back on. It's easier just to push the wheel hex claw back onto the hex of the wheel and then just get it lined up with the pin and then get it slid on. Fortunate that that pin didn't come out. Got all tightened back up and we are ready to go. And we didn't spin any hexes. Uh, the ones on both of that side, whichever side came off, both of those on that side had loosened up a little bit. I did not use thread lock on it. I probably should have, but they were brand new uh, nylon washers, so I figured they wouldn't come loose, but clearly I was wrong. They did start coming loose, uh, but at least the wheel hexes did not. It's from all the spinning I was doing right here, no doubt, but uh, let's go ahead. Let's put some more laps down. I think I'm going to stand and no, I'll keep on standing here for a little bit, but I also want to get a view from some other uh, spots on the track as well for you guys. You know what? We haven't done a launch yet. How about that? Ready? Get set. Go. Oh my gosh, that thing does a freaking wheelie on straight up dirt. Up there, coming down that far side, trying to hit this in a rhythm. Okay. 
cut that pretty tight right there into this berm. Ooh, took that one a little too far into that corner. The fastest laps are always the smooth lap, really. I don't think I'm gonna try to double that one because it's so hard to do. I think I actually lose time when I try to double that. Because then I spin out. Ooh, cut that one kind of tight. Ooh, two wheeled it kind of. See, that's as close as I'm gonna get to um, doubling that, and it kind of hits the hump, um, which is no good, because that really kind of bucks you then. Ooh, went off the side of that berm. Nope, didn't have the speed to go over that. Oh, I almost fell. Tipped it. All right, I think I'm gonna move further down this way and get a little bit of shots from over here for you guys. This is my go-to spot right here for standing kind of up on above this berm but below this section where it goes up at its highest point of the track and here we go guys can we double it oh, yeah we kind of did all right come into this berm Double it again. Yes, we did, but I'm going off the track though. Like I said, guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. It really means a lot when you guys are hitting that thumbs up button. Ooh, kind of lost some tracks in there. I want to do this whoop section for you guys. Kind of do that in a rhythm, get that a little bit of that on camera for you guys. Went off the track. Let's start up here. So spin it around. All right, guys, here we go. Off the track, of course. Let's we'll spin it around. Let's go back in this direction through the whoops. Here, let's try this again. Like right here in between this hump and this hump, you really need to make sure you're pointed much more to the left. Otherwise, you're just gonna go straight and right off the track right here. It's so easy to do. That time I was barely able to keep it on the track. Just 
sweet. Uh-oh, we lost something, guys, something broke. This is just a guess, but my guess is that we're missing that shoulder screw for the top. Yep, shoulder screw for the top is gone, and I don't have any extra, so I have to find that. Let's see. I'm gonna have to look for it, guys. All right, guys, I've been searching for it for about 10, 15 minutes. I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to wrap it up because um, it's going to get dark pretty soon anyway. And on top of that, uh, I just I don't want to spend all my time looking for it. So uh, that will be the end of the video. But uh, take it easy, guys.